All right, KM6LYW radio viewers, we are tuned to 14.230 megahertz. Uh, you guys have probably heard some weird noises there. Uh, we're going to talk about it, and uh, but first, before we get to that, I have to thank our patrons here at KM6LYW radio. Um, you guys make all of this possible. Uh, you know, a lot of the hardware that we play with and try and figure out together um, is <laughs> funded by you guys. So this isn't possible without you. And if you're not a patron, that's okay too. Um, you can always contribute and help out. Uh, this channel is really about software development around amateur radio, um, a lot of digital modes, VHF, HF. So uh, feel free to join the patron team at patreon.com slash KMXLYW. Uh, but let's talk about what's on 14.230. So, you know, there's, we're not receiving a signal right now. Let me see if we've got something. we got some noise there. So what's so this is a calling frequency, and it, it's for slow scan television. Slow scan television. Now, slow scan television isn't like television. It's Actually, it's a really bad name for it. Um, it's really, you're, you're not going to get, like, you know, reruns of Who's the Boss or Three's Company here on 14.230. What you are going to see is images, and uh, you need some software to download, you know, uh, demodulate the images and, and, and maybe transmit an image yourself. Uh, since we're usually on Linux and Raspberry Pi here, the software that you are interested in is called QSSTV. And if you're on a Raspberry Pi, you simply type sudo apt-get install QSSTV. I know, complicated, right? Uh, this is telling me I'm already at the newest version because it's already installed. You, you know that because you can see it running in the background. So uh, QSS TV is installed on your Linux or Raspberry Pi. Uh, to run it, uh, you just type QSS TV. Um, I'm not going to hit return because it's already running. It's, it's really that simple. You know, Linux and Raspberry Pi does not have to be that hard. It's usually pretty easy when it works. So uh, here's QSS TV. There's three tabs. There's a receive over here, which is stuff that we can hear. I don't currently see a signal. There's nothing on the waterfall. And there's nothing downloaded. Um, this is a faint image that we were downloading earlier. Another tab is the transmit tab. This is where you design a slide and transmit it, right? Complicated. And then there's a gallery uh, of images that uh, we've received over time. Um, as you can see, you know, the uh, provocation hasn't been good. A lot of these are pretty fuzzy. But as we go back in time, you can see how some of these are pretty good. So obviously these are good propagation days uh, receiving images here. And so we don't want to broadcast, right? That's really not an amateur radio thing. We don't want to broadcast. What we want to do is send an image out that maybe says CQ in it. And then hopefully someone replies to our CQ. Maybe they'll have an RST signal report or, uh, you know, maybe something funny. Hopefully something funny. And then, uh, we, you know, we can reply back and forth and eventually you send an image that has uh, 73 in it, right? Um, so let's figure out how that works. Um, let's close, let's get rid of the gallery. Let's go over to the transmit page. I've already got Pac-Man here. Um, but to create a new image, uh, we want to right click and say, uh, uh, let's say edit and we'll, and we'll create a template. And then it's got this cool editor where you can, where you can edit slides. Uh, Pac-Man's here. We don't want Pac-Man to be in all of our slides, you know, so we, we could delete him. And we can just put some text in here for our template. Uh, and the text is going to say something like KM6 LIW Radio SSTV! Exclamation point. And we'll say OK. And we'll click here. There it is. And we can make it nice and big. All right. You guys are getting the, the picture here. And you can draw all kinds of cool stuff. Um, there's a way you can put like what the, the most recent image that, that you saw. You can click on this little camera. No, I'm not going to insert an image. I don't know where that guy is. Anyways, back to the text. Uh, you can have a pin width uh, to make a little line around it. That's kind of important because the resolution is pretty low. Uh, low. Um, you can make it bold. Um, oh, this is the replay one here. So I can make a box that will have a the most recent image I received, and I can put that somewhere. So if I want to send someone else's images back to them, um, I can just use this this box here. So anyways, this is a template. Make sure you save it as a template. So save template, okay? And save it as something cool. Um, I'm just going to let this one go because i got a bunch of other templates we can use, but I wanted to demonstrate how to, how to create a, a template. And then for each time we want to send something, um, we can put a background image on it. So here's your templates over here. Uh, it says use template, and I'm going to make one called big... CQ. This is my CQ template, and there's Pac-Man. Um, he's. I set it up so he's uh, eating CQs here. And you, you can change the text of things. So, like in the two thing, you can say, "Hey, this is a call sign AA, you know, 
for BBB, and it you know that'll render over on the image over here on the left. Um, so, anyways, we're gonna have Pac-Man do a CQ. Actually, no, I'm gonna do something different. I'm gonna do uh, getting tired of using Pac-Man. Uh, let's get rid of these CQs here. All right, and I'm gonna do right-click load, and what and we're not loading a template or anything. What we're doing here is loading an image for the background. So the template background's transparent. So let's do, uh, well, there's Pac-Man. We've got Ernie and Bert's pretty cool. Family Guy's always cool. But if, you know, if it's a low propagation day, it's usually best to do something that has really high contrast, like a Space Invader. You know, if there's a lot of detail in the image, uh, no one's gonna make it out. Um, you know, that's the Space Invader. I've got a Cylon head that works pretty good. Um, and you can either crop the image or fit to screen. Actually, I kind of like the Cylon head. You might have a little bit of detail. Uh, let's do the Cylon head. Why not? So this is a CQ image. We're going to transmit this guy. Uh, let's make sure let's our radio is set up here. So uh, we're at 14.230 um, over here. Um, be sure to turn the power down on this. This is a continuous wave. So I'm at about, I don't know, 56 percent power here um, you really you know do not melt your radio okay uh, do not run it at 100 power and you know 100 watts unless you've got some sort of amp or something all right so first and foremost no one else is transmitting we're watching the waterfall we don't see a signal here i'm simply going to press the play button and we're going to watch and listen here it goes all right i just turned the volume up on the radio this is what a slow scan uh, audio modulation sounds like You know, to me, it's kind of eerie. I always heard that in the background. I always kind of wondered what that mode was, you know, that, that, that cyclic mode. Um, we're transmitting. Um, we are at 22%. There's a little scroll bar up here on QSS TV. That's really hard to read, but uh, 27%. takes about a minute to get one of these images through. I'm going to mute the audio here. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to pause you guys, and we're going to warp to the end of this image. I, I won't make you endure this entire transmission. Um, but the important thing is, you know, you can see uh, on the radio over here, the ALC is hanging out right kind of in the middle of this line. This is the ICOM 7300. We're at about 14 amps. Um, SWR is one to one. I do have a resonant dipole in the backyard. Um, so I don't actually, I don't even have an antenna tuner besides the one that's in the radio. So we'll, we'll let this continue transmitting. I'm gonna put you on pause. I'll see you when it's complete. All right, 96, 97, 98. And that was it. Uh, what I'm looking for right now is to see if someone stopped me. I'm looking for, on the waterfall for a signal that immediately followed mine. That means someone overlapped with my image, and it's just going to be awful. Uh, let's see, we still got the volume up. Usually at the end of an image, you want to do some sort of ID. So you can do a CWID. I'm going to press that in the right corner. And we just did a CWID, but what's totally cool is this waterfall ID. Watch, watch the... Uh, I made this a little bigger. I can press waterfall ID. Watch the watch the waterfall on the ICOM seventy three hundred. Ah! Did you see my call sign? Did you see my call sign there? That was totally cool. I I, I should have made the waterfall bigger. But yeah, you can do waterfall text. You know, with your call sign, or you can do waterfall ID or or anything you want really. Uh, QSS TV is, is really a full featured slow scan uh, uh, transceiver. Um, so, you know, I, I'm sitting here kind of stalling, waiting for someone to transmit a response to my cool Cylon head here. I'm not seeing anything. Um, we can wait a little while longer, but while we're waiting, uh, let me make, make this uh, ICOM 7300 a little bit smaller here. While we're waiting, yeah, there's a lot of lots of SDR radios out there. We'll get to that one later. Um, where is I have? It's called World SSTV. So if no one responds to your image, your CQ image, check out WorldSSTV.com. Okay. Um, these are SDRs that are all over the world, and they're listening all the time, uh, usually on 14.230. Now, there's other calling frequencies on other bands, but they're really not used very often. So I'm going to hit reload here, and I'm going to look for my Cylon head. Um, so let's see. Do we see a Cylon head here? Actually, I'm looking, I see a couple of them. 
So looking at worldsstv.com, it looks like we were received at two different locations. Um, I see one in Chandler, Arizona. Now keep in mind I'm in Sacramento, California. So, you know, it's a few hundred miles, right? Um, I've also seen one in Glendale, Arizona. So it looks like uh, Arizona is definitely uh, inside my skip zones there. Um, so we were heard, but I don't think anyone else with a transceiver is, is going to reply to us. Either unwilling or unable to reply as uh, Mr. Spock would say. So yeah, we got we were seen. Um, and this station here, you can get an idea what how it came down. So it, they're not great, right? Propagation kind of sucks. Um, there's actually frame alignment error on this guy too. Um, sometimes that has to do with your audio card calibration, which QSS TV can do. And then uh, just to give you an idea, these are some other images that came down. Uh, this was my Space Invader. I think he came down over Arizona too. Um, I think this is a Space Invader in Portland, Oregon. Uh, not so good. Uh, this is a Stormtrooper. Eh, borderline. And uh, of course, here's my Stormtrooper again. Uh, I think this is that station in Arizona that has that, uh, that slight frame alignment issue. Um, so that is QSS TV. We sent an image up and we, we saw it come down on the SDR. Unfortunately, you know, this is a live thing. We didn't get any... Uh, uh, live images back um, but you know you can always go back to your gallery and you know you can see this obviously does receive pretty well on a good day uh, so that's it for slow scan television um, I hope you guys like this mode it's really one of my favorite modes um, and of course you know if you have a, a receiver you can just receive these all day long and uh, I just thought I'd share it with you uh, again, this is KM6LYW Radio. Um, I want to thank again the patrons uh, for KM6LYW. You guys make this possible. Um, let's talk about slow scan television in the comments. Uh, and, and before we go, I wanted to give a special shout out to Jake. Um, you know, a lot of times we talk about the DigiPi on this channel, and this is a little uh, Raspberry Pi Zero image um, that does uh, all of these cool modes. Uh, VHF, HF, WinLink, APRS, Digi, you know, TNC, Bluetooth. Um, this is called the DigiPi. This is a software project that uh, that we're working on here on this channel. And Jake actually found a new sound card for this. Thank you, Jake. And we've been discussing it. It's called the Audio Injector Zero, if I remember right. Um, so I know that the audio card we've been using for this has been hard to find. But check out the Audio Injector Zero. I just threw this in my Amazon cart. Thank you, patrons, for funding this. And then uh, I'll update the uh, the Raspberry Pi image, or the DigiPi image, uh, so this card will work out of the box. Great work on this, Jake. We appreciate it. All right. So that's the end of business here. Thank you so much, guys. really appreciate it. Uh, hopefully, I will see you on slow scan television again uh, 14.230 um, i'll be watching for you it's cam6lyw radio and i'm clear